Hi, everybody! Today for Sunday Fun Day, we're gonna see how I draw an Aquatonaut. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, what is an Equatonaut? Uh, well, I mean, in so many words, uh, nothing. There is no such thing as an Equatonaut. I just took the word astronaut and made it water, you know, aqua, uh, uh, aquato, aquato. <laughs> so, uh, in, yesterday I did a very fun, very playful pink, right? And I said, no war, let's do something different because this is why, this is all we ever do is nothing but monsters and drama and, and fighting and war and mechs and robots and guts and blood and spit and stink and you know, all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to do something different. So today, this is, this is why, because today I was doing an Aquatonaut. So again, there, there is no such thing as an Aquatonaut. I just wanted to have some fun with some kind of guy in a suit, some kind of, you know, uh, not a deep sea diving suit, but something like that. Some kind of armor fighting, uh, aquatic deep sea diving armor suit, you know, something like that. And, uh, it just, it's a, it's a, an excuse to, to draw big, big, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh lobster claw and and that's it. That's really all it is. It's just so I can draw a big lobster claw on a guy and, and just make it like monstrous, you know, some kind of monstrous, pointy, stinky, uh, war machine, you know, something that maybe let's just say, what if he's, uh, um, Namor's enemy, you know, something like that. Ha 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 ha. Did you, did you catch that? Did you catch my, my superhero, uh, choice of, of, of words? I didn't say Aquaman, I said Namor, that's right. I chose Marvel, hoo 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 hoo. I mean, don't get me wrong, I own a lot of Batman comics, you know, I, I, I still do. But, uh, you know, I've always been a Spider-Man guy. I've loved Spider-Man all my life, and and uh, that's, that's where I go, you know? So, um, that's, that's what I'm talking about. So, let me draw, let's see. I've got kind of a, a, a rough idea of what I want to do for this guy. And I kind of want to make him like a, like a, uh, like a, what do you call it? Um, saw nose shark, whatever they call those. You know, they've got the big saw nose. I want like that on the, on the handle over here, almost like a sword type thing, you know? And, here, the lobster claw and whatnot, a shark head for like a, a mask. And then I'm gonna build like, well, you saw the picture. I don't know why I'm describing it. You know exactly what I'm drawing. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna draw it now. And so I don't know where it's going. I'm just gonna kind of come up with the, the picture, the idea. Okay, let me give him a head, some kind of Rough captain, angry, you know, uh, Ahab, monster fighter, uh, fish fighter, monster guy, monster hunter, right? Okay, I was getting very, very uh, um, detailed in that one. Ooh, I know what we're gonna do. I, know, I was gonna give him a patch, but instead we're gonna give him a white eye and then the scar over it. Kind of like we did for the Barbaria. You know, a scar over her eye. Like she's, she's seen some stuff and he's battled some stuff as well. You know, he's, 
he's got those scars as well. He's he's been in the stuff, you know. Um, but yeah, but he's wearing a a a uh, like a, a a helmet, and we're gonna make it very shark based. You know, almost like if you saw it, you would think it's a shark coming at you. But I think I'm good with uh, the sketch. Like, I'm just adding extra little, you know, it's got multiple eyes here because maybe it's not quite an eye. It's like a little gauge to do something and read something else, you know? But it looks like an eye, you know? Okay, so I think that might be good for the sketch. I mean, I just I just wanted to get placement because the detail is really going to come out in the the Sharpie, and I just wanted to make sure I got him there in the uh, placement. Uh, I wanted to say the placement division, the placement, uh, uh, what do you call it? Design portion, placement portion. Okay. There we go. So let's let's uh, let's erase some of these lines. I don't want all these lines to stand out. Like I got really thicker towards the head, down towards the, the the legs. The sketch worked, so there wasn't a lot I had to do. And usually, what I tell you is erase your sketchiness and keep your confidence. But the sketch worked out down here, so I don't want to erase too much. And I got more confident towards the head. Well, actually, I needed a little bit more detail towards the head, so that's why. I got a little darker there, but I want my Sharpie to stand out, not my pencil line, so I'm gonna erase a little bit. You don't have to if you're working with pencil, you just keep drawing. Me, I'm gonna get ready for the Sharpie portion. So I think that's good. I say we welcome all the skippers and get going. Where's my pens? My pencil, I mean my Sharpies. <laughs> welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but a pen's a little finer than a fine point. You can find things that the fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're gonna go. And if you wanna see other Sunday Fun Day creations, go check out that playlist, or check out the playlist in general, because I do so many things, I probably already drew what you wanna see. So chances are it's gonna be there. If not, let's get going. If your head is like this, and these are your eyes, I've got them turned like this slightly, so this one you're gonna see more of, this one you're gonna see less of, okay? So I'm gonna draw the top of the eyelid like this, and I've got them a little angry, a little, fierce so I'm gonna draw the eye like this and that's all I'm gonna draw for the uh, bottom of the eye I usually don't draw the bottom because it it'll bleed because it's so tiny so that's all I'm gonna do the other eye let's do this just so you can see where we are the other eye I have to do the bottom because I'm gonna leave it open and white but because because I'm not drawing a pupil that's why I'm drawing the bottom part over there here all I'm doing is coming in just a little like that that's it that's all I'm doing. So I'm gonna give him uh, angry brows, a little, a little thick eyebrow too. I'm gonna do something like this. Right there's his thick old angry eyebrow. This one I'm gonna split because I'm gonna have him uh, uh, with a scar down his face. So I left it open like that, so I can draw a scar down his face, and I'll do that with color. But I'm just leaving a split right there, just explaining to you why I did it like that. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna give him a big old, big old nostril, a big old schnoz. We're, we're giving him a little bit more defined features than normal, because I'm just gonna try to play around with something different, you know? That's a whole, the whole idea of, of Sunday Fun Day is just getting to do whatever we want. So I'm gonna give him a, a frowny face. He's determined and he's fighting. I'm gonna draw a little bit of that divot in his top lip. His bottom lip, all we're gonna see is that that's it okay so let's draw the side of his head i'm going to come down this way there's his cheekbones and then his chin now i've got kind of a a 
Well, you saw the picture. There's shark's teeth in his mask, so I need to draw that first because some of it is over the edge of his his uh, jawline, right? So let's draw let's draw the the glass portion of his uh, mask, right? What would you call this? The the bubble, his aquatic bubble, and then I can do this. And I guess I guess I should go ahead and just do the whole thing. I need to. To find that edge. Oops. Look at that. Look at that. I didn't even make it smooth. But that's okay. I'm fine with that. I'm okay with not being perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna do like this for the for the edge. And we can say that it's it's painted, or maybe we can say that it's just part of the glass. But that's all I'm gonna do. And then for the sides of his teeth. Do this, and maybe maybe it's just decoration, but that's what we want to do to try to give it that that uh, shark look. Before I go any further, I'm going to finish up his head because I can. Now that I have edges, like see, I know where the edge of his jawline is going to go, so I can come down like this, give him a little divot in his chin. His jawline is going to be back here like this, but you can't really see it anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay. There's his hairline. We're gonna say his hair is just slicked back. You know, going in in his little um, suit. This little I don't know if we're gonna call this a power suit or what we're gonna call it, but he just slicks his hair back to get in there. That's all. And I'm gonna thicken up some of these edges just a little bit because when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're gonna see a huge difference in line width. And I'm gonna to try to match or get close to how that's gonna look so it doesn't look awkward or stand out. I like to use these thinner lines for a, a nice compliment for the uh, for the uh, the big fat Sharpie there. But uh, I don't know how thick it's gonna be yet. So, like I said, I'm just kind of planning for how it's going to look, okay? And I'm leaving that nice and thin. All right, looks good to me. So, that being said, I'm switching over to the big Sharpie. So I always draw what's in front first. That way you don't accidentally draw through the, the middle thing if you're drawing like, like what's behind, right? So you draw what's in front, so when you draw what's underneath, you only draw what you can see, right? So, I've got a few different things on him, so I'm gonna start just drawing his uh, few different things. Like I've got like this respirator type thing um, in front of his helmet. Is that the word I couldn't think of earlier? Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? I'm an old man that can't remember words. Evan and Caitlin are right, words are hard. Okay, so I'm just adding some extra little detail, like some kind of like, that's, you know, what what his his suit has some kind of respirator type thing in the front and wraps around hoses and whatnot around here in the back right I don't know where it's going I don't know what it's doing I'm just doing that okay so I'm gonna bring this other side around here like this and that's gonna connect to that part of the helmet and watch what we're gonna do here because it's going through glass technically that's glass I'm just gonna do like this just a little highlight, like you can know there's something back there, but you can't really see it, right? Like it's not quite connecting because of the, the, the way the glass kind of does this weird effect. And that's all I'm gonna do. That's all I'm doing for that part. Okay, all right. Ooh, let's add just like some kind of like tech look, you know, some kind of weird something is attached right there, you know? Okay, so for the shark's eyes, I thought maybe it's not really quite eyes. It's some kind of um, something like eyes. You know, we'll say it's where the eyes would be, but there are this weird, you know, attachments and they are there multiples. Again, I'm just trying to break it up and do something different, you know, so it's not exactly the same. Okay, and I'm going to add one more, some kind of antenna or something up like this. I'm gonna add some small detail in a second. But like I said, I wanted to draw that first because I want to draw 
the helmet coming down like this and I didn't want to draw through that. You see, that's why you plan what's in front first so when you plan draw what's behind, it, it doesn't disappear, it makes sense. You know, some kind of antenna or something, you know? I don't know. I don't know what I'm drawing. I'm just adding some extra stuff just to make it different. There you go. All right, so this arm, I've, it's kind of uh, in a funky position, but it's... it's uh, well, let's just draw it. I don't know why I'm explaining. Let's just draw because I don't know where I'm going with this. I just know I'm going someplace, right? And again, also with this, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of making up some kind of what if it looked like this, you know? What if there was this mech added on top of this mech and then this mech was added on top of this mech and we're going to put his elbow down here right now the reason I did that first is because I've got all this kind of crazy like uh, uh, well the entire thing is crazy aquatic um, a, a, accoutrement right so I'm gonna draw like a shell type kind of thing like this and I'm gonna draw right like it's the, the um, what do you call them the conch shell but it's really just some kind of uh, you know aquatic uh, extras right so let's draw like his, his saw blade uh, sword right because I, I thought of like maybe what if he was you know, like a pirate has a hook hand. Well, his hook hand is almost like one of those saw sharks, right? So something like that. So again, I'm just taking a lot of aquatic elements and adding like a little bit of, of craziness to it, you know? And even this, can't explain what I'm about to do right now, but I'm going to say, well, let's just add some other spikes coming off this way. Because that's what he has on his armor. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, I had to sneeze there. Okay, so, again, we're just gonna add extra little aquatic uh, parts and pieces. Like I'm taking little things I know, well not know, but I've seen in aquariums and, and that kind of stuff and just kind of adding features, you know? And you remember, you don't have to do exactly like I'm drawing. I'm just making up like what I remember from, you know, any anything I've seen in a in a aquarium or under the sea type kind of picture. They've got like the little stuff, you know, barnacles, those kind of things, you know, that's, that's all I'm going for. And even here, I'm drawing like a spiky end. It's not even at a, at a point. Okay. All right. So let's close this off. I'm going to, I'm going to say this is some kind of mech suit that has some attachments. Going back like this. This is gonna, the elbow's gonna come up this way. I'm gonna close that off. I don't know what I was doing here. I just thought, you know, it'd be cool if they had some kind of, some kind of little indention. I don't know why, maybe they look like octopus eyes. You know, maybe it's some kind of something. I'm just trying to go for more aquatic feels. I'm giving you the aquatic feels, right? But also just mech, you know, just some kind of like, like some kind of armor that he's got. 
really, there doesn't have to be any kind of explanation because because it's Sunday Fun Day. You know, we get to do whatever we want. But I'm just kind of explaining to you why I'm putting these lines in certain places. Okay. So, uh, armor forward. So I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna do anything too crazy with his armor and his, his waist and stuff like that. It was mostly his arms. That's what I was super excited about. So I'm gonna draw some tubes and, and, and uh, respirators and things like that because I'm gonna draw his back like this. And see, remember, I wanted to draw some stuff in the front first. That's why I wanted to make sure I did that so I can make sure that I attach for things like this. And uh, I'm gonna do like some gill type kind of stuff too as I'm working too. So um, let's see, we're gonna give him like pecs. That's, we're just gonna say that's how the armor was designed. Some, some aquatic boobies, basically. It's basically like a, a suit armor, you know? That's kind of what I'm going for here. Um, same thing, we'll say there's a tube on that side. He's got a lot of tubes hanging off of him. That's not, it's not good. He shouldn't have that many tubes because, you know, someone could just s snap them, you know, cut them, and uh, you're done, buddy. No more for you. Okay, so again, yeah, let's just do some fun, just some lines. Because if nothing else, he's gotta bend over, you know? He's gotta have, uh, you know, a way to, to, to turn the suit, do the stuff like that. So we'll just say that's, that's what that is. All right, I'm gonna close off some of the stuff that I didn't. Again, I'm just adding extra just to try to get a little bit of realism to it, even though it is a undersea aquatic man. You know, how real can you get with that, right? And remember, you don't have to draw every single line like I'm doing. I'm just giving you an idea of what to do. Because when it comes down to it, this is how I draw, you draw how you draw, and we'll be somewhere in between. So don't don't ever get frustrated if I'm going drawing too many lines or you're falling behind. Draw what you want. You know, it's Sunday fun day. Have fun. Okay. This arm, I'm going to do, again, some kind of uh, mech something, but it's going to go to a big lobster claw. You know, just some kind of big... We're going to do the shoulder piece there, and I'm going to do... Ooh, like, almost like... Let's do something like... I don't know what. Let's do... Almost like a... Like a... Metallic... extra piece you know like some kind of something inside there that's that's uh, on a pivot you know some kind of rotating something right here because it why not right because let's do something different let's change it up besides just making the same kind of armor everywhere right I didn't explain it over here. We shouldn't have to explain it over there. We're just gonna make it and have fun. All right, so we're gonna do this on forward, coming down into the elbow. And then the elbow, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do some kind of, I don't know, pivoty, weird, circular edge type kind of thing. And then let's give it a little bit of an edge because if it's armor, it's got some kind of flat edge, round edge, or curved edge. You know what I mean? It's gotta have some kind of edge to it to give it that that hard metallic look and that's all just something like this I'm not even gonna explain what any of this is I'm just gonna have fun with it and say that's that's part of it that's where it goes right okay so but for his lobster claw I'm gonna do just some kind of crazy it's it's mechanized so we're gonna say that there's a, a weird piston light type thing in here like that there's another one 
like this, almost looks like popsicles, right? A little ghost eyes. And then this is where there's no explanation. I'm just gonna add some spikes, right? And the reason I'm doing that is because like, you, you see lobster claws, how they have bumps and spikes and all kinds of stuff all over them. That's kind of what I'm going for, you know, kind of a, uh, a strange cross between real mech and, and I just, I guess that's it, right? Just real and mech. It's only, it's only, it can only be those two things, but I want that kind of pincery lobster feel or, or spiny nubby lobster feel. Like, does that make sense? We're going to close it off here. Right? We'll do some that are pointed right at you, and that's why they look like that. I'll add some more detail in a second. I'm just explaining to you why I'm going there in this direction. All right. A little nubby there. A big, big one for no reason, other than the fact that we're drawing. All right, and so the lobster claw, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it in like this. And there's the top of the claw, okay? So I'm gonna bring it back around. Let's give it a flat edge like it's been through some stuff. And then we're gonna curve it back around, okay? And then the bottom one, we're just going to, let me close this off. The bottom one, we're going to just draw into it, right? Again, a few little nubs go into it like that and I'm gonna draw like that and that's it that's it right that's all we got to do so I'm gonna add a little bit of extra so it's not just big old thick thick uh, claws so we're gonna do some some tiny little bumps just to uh, um, accent and again because it's it's a lobster claw so it's got all kinds of stuff Sometimes a little stuff like this kind of makes it come alive. It makes it real, you know? Close this off, because I didn't close that off. Right, we're giving it just that, that, that weird little edge, that weird little, that it, we're not sure why it's, it's, real and mech at the same time, but it's different. All right, there you go. I think it's good. I think if we keep going, it's gonna get a little over the top. Every time I say that, I always add more to it like this. I don't know why I always say that, because I know I'm gonna add just a little, I, I lean back and I say, okay, let me add just a little bit more like that. Okay, now for his legs, for his legs, we are going to, it's not gonna to be too much complicated after this because we're gonna draw like a, a uh, you know, some kind of belt, you know, some kind of power belt that's attached to all of this stuff. And I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of doing some kind of, you know, uh, like we did there, just some kind of middle, attached, attached, that kind of thing. And then maybe we'll do like a, a little, button type configuration. Right? Just something like that. It doesn't have to be any certain way. But when we separate it like that, it makes it a little different. All right. That's got negative space. Let's do something there. How about we do, we'll just do a long line. Right? It breaks up the negativity. There we go. All right, so for his pants, uh, we're gonna do, okay, let's do like he's gonna have a sealed crotch, something like this. That's funny that we're talking about aquatic and I say sealed, like a seal, you know, like <laughs> like a, uh, a seal. You know what I mean? You know, seal. How many more times can I say it? Seal. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him gills on his legs. Hear me out. I'm gonna draw the bottom of his leg like this, and we're gonna say maybe they're pants, right? Coming into his knees. And so his pants, they're gonna go up like this, and come down like that. And 
into his knee. So it's kind of like a gill, but it's not, right? But that's, again, that's the whole, the whole aquatic feel to it. It's like, it's your strangeness. High strangeness and uh, unexplainability, you know? It's like, well, why is, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're just going with it. We're, we're Sunday fun day, right? Let's do this leg and then you can see what I'm doing over here because I've got this one kind of bent. So I'm going to draw just, we're going to say like some kind of um, shell encrusted barnacle type kind of knee pad. That way it's nice and, and uh, uh, armored, right? Is that the word I'm looking for? Something like that. Into, again, a, a, a strange, like we did there, a strange piped, um, almost like um, what do you call it? Uh, thrusters. Like that's that's what, what kind of vaults him through the air, like some thrusters on his boots. But the whole idea is it's kind of like that. It's like this weird shell type kind of thing into his boot. Well, I'll add some detail in a second. Like I said, I just wanted to show you what we're doing and then we'll, we'll, we'll kind of, uh, explain it out here in a second okay bottom of the shoe now his shoe I'm gonna do kind of like a a uh, what do you call it a weighted shoe like a, a diver shoe right so just something like this and let me add some detail now to explain it all even though I said we don't have to explain ourselves I do want to add some detail to help sell the story right So I'm almost doing like 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 clams, you know, little little shells on the side, just to do some kind of armor. Then I'm gonna attach it. And I like I like what we started doing there with the line. So I'm gonna do more like that, just to kind of sell it, you know, kind of give it some life. And also it'll help to kind of explain like, well, we don't know what we're doing. It's just some kind of weird uh, aquatic life that's like accumulated onto his leg. There you go, something like that. And we'll say another one is kind of pointed at you, right? So you only see like a, a straight on shot. Like if these were pointed right at you, you would only see just like that. You would only see like a, a like this right you know you wouldn't see the the same thing every single time you see it from different angles you see it like this you'd see it like that so that's kind of what I did there right pretty cool okay so that being said we're gonna do the same thing on the other leg but from the side view all right Okay, so this leg is out. We're gonna do this one. Pants, like this. Just some kind of silly gills. Just something, you know? And this leg is bent. So I'm gonna add just a whole bunch of the same thing like we did there. And we're gonna do the edges like this. This one we gotta show where they're attached. Okay. I kind of feel like it needs to be out further. So I'm gonna add a few more to bring it out. Yeah. Alright, let's let's close this leg up because it's all bent in. Okay. Time for a new Sharpie. This one's dying. Okay, let me add a little detail here, then we'll come back and do that strange looking um what do I call it? A uh, thruster leg, you know? There we go. 
some kind of strange gills. All right. Okay, so for this one, again, it's bent in a little bit. So we're going to just, again, kind of go crazy with, I, I know where the sketch is, so that's why I'm, I'm drawing out and back to it, okay? So I know it seems like they're floating, but again, I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing with the tiny ones. Like that, that I can connect the insides like this. Okay, down to the bottom of the shoe. Then I'm gonna bring uh, the side view of the boot here. The Sharpie is really struggling to finish here. We're just at the finish line, buddy. We're almost there. Just hang tough. Almost. I think you made it. I think you made it, guy. Man, that one, you, you had a good run, man. You had a good run. I appreciate it. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, so let's finish this up. Again, just some of the crazy lines that we did here. And again, remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. So don't feel bad if you're not drawing every single line like I am. This is just to help you, to guide you and you make up the rest. You do what you want to do. All right? There we go. Just made it kind of all kinds of weird and wispy. So there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So for Sunday Fun Day, that is an Aquatonaut. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.